Daniel Ricardo to join us in the driver's press conference. Our fan question. Were you popular when you were ice cream? <sighs> Never been asked that question in either. <laughs> they come up with some good ones, actually. <laughs> I guess our, our silence probably means no. <laughs> <laughs> Hello folks and welcome to the 2021 Formula One World Championship here. Meanwhile, at the circuit to Barcelona, Catalonia, in Barcelona, in Catalonia, in Spain for the Spanish Grand Prix and I'm delighted to be joined by Laura Winter. Hello. Hello Will. How are you mate? But yeah, it's good to be uh, back at a circuit that we all know and I'd say love, but I think everyone's done so many laps around this place that they're, they're sick to the back teeth. <laughs> no. From Charles. Oh my God, it's Albert Einstein. With all the correct technical terms. <laughs> Hello, Carlos. Uh, everybody going on a run track. Actually, I think there's a charity run this weekend for Wings for Life for Red Bull. But we're here to talk tech. We're here to talk updates and all the interesting things. That everybody thinks Mercedes still has the dream? most powerful that power unit. Not a great that drum. Then Honda, then Frost change quite a lot. Okay. Williams, one of the front wings they've got out the front of their garage, rather interestingly, looks to me to be a 2020 hey, spec yo, front the? wing. And I was like, well, why would you do that? Well, what happened to the Williams cars at Imola? Hey. <laughs> Did a pretty good job of destroying some front ends of oh, those cars. Goodness. <laughs> Ferrari and then Renault at the back, but it's really close. So you turn up and down your MG UK, your MG UH, that, that might come tomorrow on the Pit Lane channel. We'll talk about that a bit more. Teach me. Um, the race was very long. It was, uh, you know, 66 laps, but um, it was that necessary time for me to spin the car and, and go from very good balance when the tires are there to making a joke out of myself. It was a very interesting challenge, but I'm sure there's much more spin to come this year. <laughs> Cue the music. <laughs> Bye, have a great time! Ooh. There you go. Ooh. 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 I love it. Yeah, we saw it. Bastard! <laughs> yeah, boy. Uh, the car switch it off. Damn! <laughs> and we'll break to 10 with the RS. Uh, you always say late. It's, I, literally, I'm in the entry, you know? Okay. Let's start all over, shall we? Yuki, calm down. Okay, we'll improve for the next. It's fine. Yeah, a little bit too much speed. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Manette. Over at P11. Sebastian Vettel crosses the line and it's tall fastest for Vettel. Gets himself out of the bottom five. But he's setting personal best out on his lap. Lando Norris goes fastest overall. 117.80 got up on his first flying lap. Nothing to harm his chances. George Russell now at risk. <sighs> okay, here we go. Focus. Mr. Saturday. I am Mr. Saturday. Simona now at risk as George Russell tries to make it into Q2 and does. Mr. Saturday does it again and he has put that Williams into Q2. It's Yuki Sonoda, who is the big shot really, making his way out of the qualifying in an Alpha Tauri where he lost his last stroll next to cross the line. Can he improve on his time? He stays eighth fastest overall. Esteban Ocon goes seventh overall. But Ricardo, flying through the first sector, has gone purple there. A personal best in the middle sector is now going to try and knock out Lance Stroll in the Aston Martin. Can Ricardo, who started 13th on the grid last two years here in Spain, make Q3 this weekend? He 
can. Eighth fastest for Daniel Ricciardo. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. To the Ferraris as it stands so far. Norris crosses the line. And we'll cross the line next. Faster, three tenths faster. Through that. Put in First time. I mean, uh, it's been windy uh, every every day a little bit. Of course, the wind changes a bit every day. Oh my God! Wow! Club at the barriers. You just think he was just pushing too hard too soon and made a silly mistake. A red flag for a red ball. Nick Manette. It's lights out and away we go. I think we're starting to have a slightly better start than Lewis Hamilton. Yeah, he's going to leave. Can't get the hole for it. And that is he. Can't stop in the last of both in Barcelona. Yo, hey! Yo, hey! Nigga wanna see me Mikey, blue flags. Mikey, this guy makes us lose the position. I'm pitting right now. So, has that caught Red Bull up? Yeah, by Lewis Hamilton and by Mercedes. <laughs> move come from? That's a long way back then. Well, Daniel Ricciardo is normally the last of the late breakers. Perez might have broke a little bit later himself and got his own elbows out there. Yeehaw! What a move! Oh, damn! Don't hold Lewis up. Well, don't hold him up. There was an opportunity to let him pass. It's James. I'm about to end this man's whole career. No. Not if necessarily for the win, as he's going to. No, he's gone. He's gone. Hey, yo, what the? Too long with that. That cost Hamilton in terms of time. To back his right on his tail. If you remember last time out, Hamilton passed Max Verstappen on his way to a victory in Portugal. No, God, please, no! Spain, seven days later, get it shattered in front of the rear of that Red Bull. Hamilton goes around the outside of turn one. In ten, we go. Sebastian Vettel takes the very long way. As Stroll loses to hey, Gasly uh, for a point going into turn one. And it's the chequered flag as the winner of the Spanish Grand Prix for Lewis Hamilton. It's good to not just see Hambot, you know, Hamverbot, Verb Hambot.
is like what the old like rock stars used to do. Yeah, Freddie Mercury. You ain't nothing yeah. but a hound dog. That's yeah. not Freddie Mercury. Right, but anyway, right, that yeah. one. No, I know. That's Elvis. <laughs> <laughs>